Welcome to Consumer Times. Today we talk about a very important topic dark patterns. Indirect selling are hurting consumers manipulative design techniques employed to steer users towards actions they might not otherwise take have become increasingly prevalent in the digital age. While these patterns are often associated with online platforms, they also infiltrate traditional marketing channels like direct selling and direct marketing. Before we dive into the subject, please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. It helps us to work better and motivates us. Today we will delve into the nature of dark patterns in these domains, examining how consumers suffer losses due to these deceptive tactics. Direct selling and direct marketing, built on personal interaction and persuasive communication, offer fertile ground for dark patterns. These industries thrive on trust and relationships, making consumers particularly vulnerable to manipulation. By understanding the common dark patterns in these sectors, we can better protect consumers and ensure fair market practices. One insidious dark pattern is the creation of a false sense of urgency. Direct sellers often employ high pressure tactics, claiming limited product availability or impending price increases. This fear of missing out, FOMO, can induce impulsive purchases without careful consideration. Consumers may feel coerced into buying products they don't need or want, resulting in financial loss. Another prevalent dark pattern is the exploitation of social proof. Direct sellers frequently emphasize the popularity of their products by highlighting customer testimonials or exaggerating sales figures. This tactic leverages the human tendency to conform and can lead consumers to make purchasing decisions based on peer pressure rather than personal needs. The foot in the door technique is another dark pattern commonly used in direct selling. By offering seemingly small commitments, such as attending a product demonstration or trying a sample, direct sellers can gradually increase the pressure to make larger purchases. This technique exploits the principle of consistency, as consumers feel obligated to follow through on previous commitments. Furthermore, direct sellers often employ the scarcity principle, creating a perception of limited supply to drive demand. By emphasizing the exclusivity of products or services, they can inflate perceived value and induce impulsive buying. This tactic can be particularly effective when combined with a sense of urgency, creating a powerful psychological pressure on consumers. Direct marketing also employs various dark patterns to deceive consumers. One common tactic is the use of misleading advertising claims. Exaggerated or unsubstantiated benefits can lure consumers into purchasing products that fail to deliver as promised. This not only results in financial loss but also erodes consumer trust in the industry. Additionally, direct marketers may engage in privacy violations by collecting and exploiting personal information without explicit consent. This data can be used to create targeted marketing campaigns that exploit vulnerabilities and manipulate consumer behavior. The unauthorized use of personal information can have serious consequences, including identity theft and financial fraud. In the realm of direct selling and direct marketing, consumers are often enticed by alluring offers and seemingly beneficial deals. However, lurking behind these seemingly straightforward transactions are manipulative techniques known as dark patterns. These are deceptive design practices aimed at tricking consumers into making decisions that benefit the seller, often at the expense of the consumer's financial well-being or personal data. This essay explores the various dark patterns used in direct selling, the consumer suffering they cause, and the implications for the broader market. Dark patterns are design tactics used in websites, apps, and other digital interfaces to deceive users into making choices that they might not otherwise make. Unlike straightforward marketing practices that aim to persuade through clear, honest communication, dark patterns leverage psychological manipulation to guide users towards actions that primarily benefit the seller. In direct selling, dark patterns manifest in several ways. One of the most common dark patterns involves obscuring additional costs until the final stages of the purchase process. For example, a product might be advertised at a low price, but as the consumer progresses through the checkout process, unexpected shipping fees, handling charges, or mandatory subscriptions are added. This tactic preys on the consumer's commitment, making it less likely they will abandon the purchase after investing time and effort. Direct marketers might use enticing offers to draw consumers in, only to switch the terms once the consumer is engaged. For instance, a limited time offer might promise a significant discount on a product, but when the consumer attempts to redeem the offer, 
they find that the product is either out of stock or that the offer was only for a different, less desirable product. This dark pattern involves enrolling consumers into ongoing subscription services without their clear, informed consent. For instance, a consumer might sign up for a free trial with the understanding that they can cancel at any time, but the process to cancel the subscription is so convoluted that many users end up being charged repeatedly. Another manipulation involves making it exceedingly difficult for consumers to opt out of a service or communication. This can include hidden unsubscribe buttons in email communications, or complex steps required to cancel a service. By complicating the process, sellers hope that consumers will give up and continue paying for unwanted products or services. Direct sellers often use social proof, e.g., most popular, or top-rated, and artificial scarcity, for example, only two left in stock, to create a sense of urgency. These techniques pressure consumers into making quick decisions without sufficient consideration, leading them to purchase products they don't really need or want. The impact of dark patterns on consumers is significant and multifaceted. The hidden costs and bait and switch tactics can lead to unexpected financial burdens. Consumers may end up paying much more than they anticipated, which can be especially damaging for those on tight budgets. The forced continuity pattern exacerbates this issue, as individuals find themselves paying for unwanted services or products for extended periods, often without their active consent. The experience of being deceived can lead to considerable emotional distress. Consumers who fall victim to dark patterns often feel frustration, anger, and helplessness. The sense of being manipulated erodes trust in the seller and can also lead to a general skepticism towards all direct selling practices, even those that are legitimate. The effort required to navigate convoluted cancellation processes or to address unauthorized charges takes up valuable time and resources. Consumers who must spend hours dealing with customer service or trying to untangle complex terms and conditions suffer from a significant loss of productivity and peace of mind. Some dark patterns involve exploiting consumer data. For example, by making it difficult for users to opt out of data collection, direct sellers can amass vast amounts of personal information, which can then be used for targeted advertising or sold to third parties. This invasion of privacy not only affects consumers' immediate experience but can have long-term consequences on their personal security and data integrity. The prevalence of dark patterns in direct selling undermines the integrity of the market. When consumers are misled or manipulated, it distorts fair competition and erodes trust in legitimate businesses. This loss of trust can have ripple effects, discouraging consumers from engaging in direct selling altogether and potentially stifling innovation and growth in the sector. Moreover, the legal and regulatory landscape is evolving to address these issues. Increasingly, regulators are scrutinizing dark patterns and imposing fines or restrictions on companies that engage in deceptive practices. For instance, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, in the United States and similar regulatory bodies in other countries are beginning to take a stronger stance against such practices, leading to greater accountability for sellers. Dark patterns in direct selling represent a significant ethical and practical challenge in the consumer marketplace. These manipulative tactics exploit psychological vulnerabilities, leading to financial loss, emotional distress, and privacy concerns for consumers. As awareness of these practices grows, both consumers and regulatory bodies are becoming more adept at identifying and combating them. It is crucial for direct sellers to adopt transparent, ethical marketing practices to restore consumer trust and contribute to a fairer, more honest marketplace. In the end, the long-term success of direct selling depends on maintaining consumer trust and ensuring that all marketing practices align with principles of honesty and fairness. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to motivate us.